I'm tied 29 at the half. What's the conversation in the locker room uh, as far as missed free throws, rebounds, anything like that? I mean, we had to come out and focus more on making our free throws. One of his main things was us playing tough and finishing layups at the rim and getting offensive rebounds because we had none at halftime. We came out and did a better job of that. What is it about this team defensively that, that you know, play so much better defensively at home? I mean, you, you play well defensively on the road, but at home, it's, there's just something different about this team. I feel like... I mean, we shouldn't, but we have. I feel like we have a lot more energy at home, and the support we have from the community and the crowd that comes out here definitely helps us a lot. KJ, I know the last couple of games you haven't scored or gotten as many rebounds as you usually do. What was the difference tonight, if there was any? I know. Um, it was just to go out and play play my game and uh, just have fun and enjoy doing what I do, and that's uh, that's the main idea tonight. You feel like you're maybe imposed your will. A little bit more underneath the basket, or, or what was it tonight that worked for you? Uh, it was just me going, crashing, and getting rebounds, and playing my hardest to get to get the boys and get uh, second chance opportunities to score. Uh, defensively, you hold them to three and twenty from three. Was that an emphasis coming in? Um, that's always an emphasis. We try to hold uh, teams under uh, a certain amount, a certain amount of percentage, uh, and that's what we did tonight. Seven, uh, no turnovers again tonight. There were 16 of them, but you, you guys were 17 from them. EKU's turnover differential this year is, is one of the best, in, if not in the country, at least in the league. How did you guys maintain uh, pressure, especially in the second half? I mean, we've prepared for that the whole week. We know coming in it's going to be a track race with them, and they're going to press the whole game. So we just sl try to slow the game down as much as we can and pay attention to the courts and where the traps are coming from. Uh, you mentioned <coughs> that y'all talked about free throws at halftime. Y'all closed it out with... 10 of 10. Uh, how much uh, of, a, of a rhythm were you getting in there late as you were knocking down? You see a couple go in. Definitely seeing a lot go in helped me a lot because I've been struggling a little bit from the free throw line, but coming out of halftime and towards the end of the game when they were dropping, it felt good. KJ, um, the double on the back end, you found Chico Carter for a three there in the right corner. Can you walk us through that play? Was that a secondary option or was that – did you feel the heat behind you and you just knew he was there? Um, that's uh, that's always what I look for. I always try to, to look out for players and not be selfish with the ball and just find open players uh, so they get open shots. And I just, I kind of like feel, I kind of like seeing it on my peripheral and I just threw it out. He's cool. Over the last few games, JV has kind of been a spark plug to start things for y'all offensively. What have you guys seen from him over the last, this last four game stretch? He's playing like I feel like he's supposed to be playing and he's being con very consistent with it. He's been a spark for us to pass four or five games in the beginning, and he's definitely kept us in it through halftime, and him playing defense and working hard and pushing the ball in the second half is definitely helping us a lot. How physical was this game? It was very. I mean, there were, I'm not sure how many fouls were called, but there were definitely a lot of those. In a game where there's so many fouls called like that, how do you guys work on keeping your composure and moving on to the next play? Just just keep playing and don't don't really worry about, worry about that and just – and do what you got to do to get the win. Obviously, this win was important to stay in the race uh, for, that, for that top two seed. Uh, was that even a thought coming into a game like this, or was it just let's get the next one because we're finally home? No, we just play one game at a time and prepare, prepare each game at a time. We don't worry about what's going on next.